Ever wondered what's really happening inside your body when you drink? Today, we're breaking down the science, how alcohol affects your brain, why hangovers happen, and what actually works to feel better faster. No fluff, just facts you can use. Here's what happens the moment alcohol hits your system. 20% gets absorbed straight through your stomach. That's why eating matters. The other 80% goes to your small intestine, then directly into your bloodstream. Your liver can only process about one drink per hour. That's it. Can't speed it up with coffee, cold showers, or any other trick. Once it reaches your brain, alcohol messes with three key chemicals. GABA, your brain's chill-out signal gets amplified. That's the relaxed feeling. Glutamate, your brain's stay-alert signal gets blocked. That's why coordination goes out the window. Dopamine, your reward center lights up. Feels good now, but your brain starts wanting more later. Simple chemistry, big effects. While your brain's getting hit, the rest of your body's working overtime. Your heart beats faster, blood pressure spikes. Some people get irregular heartbeats, doctors call it holiday heart. Your stomach cranks out extra acid. Hello, nausea and heartburn. Your kidneys, here's the big one. Alcohol blocks a hormone that helps you hold on to water. More bathroom trips, less water in your system. Your liver, processing alcohol creates acetaldehyde. And this stuff's actually more toxic than alcohol itself. All this is happening whether you feel it or not. Let's talk about why you feel terrible the next day. Four main culprits. Dehydration. You've lost way more water than usual. Your brain literally shrinks slightly, pulling on the membranes that cause headaches. Toxic buildup. Remember acetaldehyde? It's still floating around causing inflammation everywhere. Blood sugar crash. Your liver was so busy processing alcohol it couldn't make enough glucose. That's the shakiness and brain fog. Terrible sleep. Alcohol might knock you out, but it destroys your deep sleep. You wake up exhausted even after eight hours. Your body's working on multiple issues simultaneously. Your body eliminates alcohol at exactly 0.015% per hour. Do the math. Two drinks, two hours minimum. Four drinks, four hours minimum. Eight drinks, eight hours minimum. But here's what most people don't know. Feeling normal doesn't mean you're clear. Alcohol and its byproducts can stick around for up to 24 hours. Factors that change this. Weight and muscle. More muscle processes. Faster. Age. Sorry, it gets slower over time. Sex. Women typically process alcohol slower. Gap 0.5 seconds. Food. Slows absorption. Doesn't speed elimination meds. Some interfere with processing. The math doesn't lie, but your body might. Let's cut through the myths. Here's what science actually supports. Before you drink, eat real food. Protein and fats, slow absorption. Think eggs, nuts, cheese, substantial stuff. Prehydrate, drink 16, 20 ounces of water beforehand. Start ahead of the game. Take B vitamins, alcohol drains them fast. A B complex supplement helps. While drinking one-to-one -one rule, Every alcoholic drink gets matched with a glass of water, non-negotiable. Stick to clear spirits. Vodka and gin have fewer toxic compounds than dark liquors. Skip sugary mixers. They'll make tomorrow worse with blood sugar swings. The morning after rehydrate with electrolytes, sports drinks or coconut water, beat plain water. Eat something steady. Banana with peanut butter or eggs with toast. Your blood sugar needs help. Get sunlight. Helps reset your sleep cycle that alcohol messed up. Move gently. Light walk, nothing intense, gets blood flowing. Consider pain relievers carefully. Ibuprofen can be hard on your already stressed stomach. Acetaminophen can stress your liver when it's already processing alcohol. Save your time and money. These don't work. Coffee makes you feel more awake but doesn't clear alcohol faster. Might make dehydration worse. Greasy food can actually make nausea worse when you're already feeling rough. Sweating it out? Saunas and intense workouts don't eliminate alcohol through sweat. That happens in your liver, period. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. The only real cure for alcohol's effects is time. Your liver needs to do its job, and you can't rush biology. The best strategy? Know your limits. Understand what you're putting your body through. Plan accordingly. If drinking's becoming a problem, that's medical territory. Hit subscribe for more science that actually matters. Share your experiences in the comments.